The bends is a decompression sickness that happens when a diver comes up too quickly from deep waters. It can happen with experienced divers, even more so with people on spring break. A scuba diving trip left a Texas father dead. Uh, he shot up so fast because he knew something was wrong. Leaving his 14 year old son to surface without him. He's doing OK. He's with me right now. That's tonight. Why he's in the care of his grandmother, because... but the teen's quick ascent causing him to get what's known as the bends. <laughs> Director of hyperbaric medicine, Dr. Robert Borrego is also a diver. And from the pain, people will walk around bent over. So that's why it's called the bends. He says the bends happens when divers who have been breathing compressed air in deep waters surface too quickly, not giving the body time to adjust, which he says could be deadly. How often do we see people getting the bends here in South Florida? Quite a bit. He says he sees three to five cases of the bends weekly, a number he says is higher during spring break. But the biggest reasons that we see is inexperience. Dr. Borrego said air travel, heavy exercise, and being dehydrated before a dive can all make you vulnerable to the bends. I did a dive in 170 feet. Um, I shot some fish, you know, had no problems going up or down in the water column. No. Mike Sipos is an experienced diver and spear fisherman who said he got the bends even after hitting all his decompression stops. And what was the most extreme case of it? that you've experienced. Felt like I got uppercutted and the world just started spinning around He me. said the bends impacted his hearing and he couldn't walk in a straight line with other mild symptoms lasting months. You know, if you uh, see the diver with those symptoms, um, it's a, a game of getting them back to the chamber or getting them the help they need so they don't have persistent symptoms or, you know, permanent damage. In Juno Beach. I do these kind of talks just to bring awareness of that. Joel Lopez, WPTV. News Channel 5.